And Kevin Kremen as their mayor Ishka. Their mascots today of Michael O'Connell, Danny Murphy, Hannah Barry, Ella Connors, Teddy O'Leary, Emma Barry, and Alana Barrett. And the game has started. I'll just run through the Brock teams very, very quickly. That is an unbelievable score there by Caro. They've really come out the gate. Beaumont boys are lining out as follows. Over Hank, Keen Coates, over Doe, Dar Waters. Over three is Alex Jacob McAvoy. Four is Martin Kenka Moreno. He is Spanish. Great to see. Half back line Jack Carney, Jack Punch, and Killian McClafferty. Midfield pairing in of Aaron Corwin and Liam Mackesy. Then we have the half forward line of Connor Stack, Kian Coakley, and Dara O'Flaherty. Dara, of course, made the Cochrane game team. And we have Dara, Ronan, and Tom inside in the full forward line. So Ronan. That's Ron O'Connell and Tom Mulcrooney. And we have a free here now to Beaumont Boys. The Kraken score there by Crow to start for the match. Crow lead after a minute, a point to nil. An unbelievable strike by Beaumont there. Against the wind, straight into the heart of the full forward line. And it's brilliantly picked up by Beaumont. Oh, and what a block down there by the Crow halfback, cornerback. And another brilliant block down there by him. That's the full back there, I believe his name. Adam O'Mani, vice captain. Sensational full back and great work there by the centre back Ben Lynch. Good to note there that the cornerback. 
cornerback for Thoreau today, David Barry, his father of course, Shawnee Barry played with St. Finn Bears in his time. I play golf with his grandfather, John. Great family, great man. And here we have Bomo now with a sideline cut. He's missed the ball so he can go again. But they don't see it like that and Thoreau win it. And it's a sideline ball again. Unfortunately missed that ball there. But they got a second bite of that Turry and it's a line ball. Here and we have two minutes gone. Wind has picked up significantly. Beaumont playing against the wind. Throw have it in the first half. And it looks like it's gone out for a line ball. Beaumont are calling it. The ref is, isn't having any of it. And the ref is giving it as a... Oh, he's went twice again on that. The ref let it go. Game on. And we have Jamie Deneen here, the captain for throw. He is bursting through the ball the fence. He's beaten one man, beat the second, and pops it straight over the back. Absolutely fantastic score there by Jamie Deneen, the captain. And we have Keen Coase, the goalkeeper for Beaumont, to puck it out. Steadies himself, long ball against the breeze here now today is needed. Oh, a fantastic puck out there by Keen. Batted down ably there by, by Thoreau, Stephen Kelleher. It's one again here, and Beaumont ran the ball. Some great hooking and blocking inside there now as Shamas and ensues. And looks like we had a hurley over the head, so it's free in there for Beaumont. And it seems that seems to be Ronan O'Connell to take. That's how it's. Connor Stack looks like he's standing over it. Hard to see the numbers. Connor with a fantastic strike. What a puck of a ball. Straight into the fullback. Oh, and a fantastic catch and a goal. What a goal there by Ronan O'Connell. Clopped it straight out of the sky. Stuck it straight into the back of the net. And just like that, Beaumont lead by a point. Scores one goal to two points. Great puck out there by Dara Crowley. He finds his man. Lachlan O'Donoghue. I don't know who's on the ball here, passes it straight across, there's midfield pairing there, Jamie Deneen's on the ball and lets it fly into the full forward line. Comes straight back out, great strike in there by James O'Sullivan. If Beaumont are up to the task and out they come with the ball, straight up the field. Wow, that's a pacey man with a lovely touch there for Beaumont. It's a really beautiful ball across the field. A brilliant tap on him, Beaumont bearing down the goal, the two hands under it, he's got the one hand up, they're going for it. Oh, what a block. What a block by the Claro defence. What a fantastic point over the bar there that second time. Second bite of the cherry there. That seems to be Dara of Flaherty. Can't make it out at the minute now. The numbers, Bowman numbers are hard to see at the back of their jersey there. Great puck out there by the Claro. And it's Bobby O'Halloran with the ball. Works it up the field. Ably picked up there by the Beaumont boys, half back. And it's gone out for a sideline cut. And it looks like it's going to be a Beaumont sideline cut. Hard to know, just trying to figure out what's happening here. Look, is it a free? Yep, free in there now for the uh, free or sideline. Well, no many takes it, folks. Looks like he's standing up to it to be a free. Yep. Oh, and a fantastic strike again. You hear this clash of the ash there. Great pick up again by the full forward for Bomo. He's going for it. And a great point there. Absolutely superb score there by Ronan. He's a big man inside in that full forward line. He's really wonder. Oh, it's change of tactics there for Thoreau. Full back seems like he's going to take our puck out. He does, he finds his man. And the David Barry on the puck out there, is it? Great puck out. Beaumont around the ball again. And great work here. Great pressure by both teams. Oh, and what a pick up. What a catch. And an even better strike to boot. And a great stop by the goalie there. He's bats it straight out the field. Beaumont go again, but what a goal by Beaumont. 
absolutely fantastic finish. That leaves the score now at two goals and two points for Beaumont to two points to Claro Claro course. Looking to do the double with the Camogie girls having just won. Hopefully the boys will find some inspiration from them. Ball runs all the way into the Claro full forward line. Beaumont come out again. Beaumont really, really, really stamping their authority on this game over the first couple of minutes. Seven minutes gone in the match. So it needs to be a, uh, a line ball to throw. We have a line ball to bone out there now after all that. Just catching my breath. The line ball has been taken by Bond with a bit of schmazzling on the ground. A bit of two and fro in here. Who's going to come out with it? Ref may look to own. Bond won't get it, but it looks like it's going out for a sideline ball. It's going to be a throw, sideline ball throw, playing from left to right. Really quickly picked up there by the Claro halfback for a poor sideline cut. If they have it again, back on the ground. Someone really needs to take authority of this ball. Both sets teams are fighting really hard for it here on the ground. Fairness to the Claro National School. Their fans are coming full voice today. Post of classics. Ball's been thrown in there now, and it looks like oh, the hurley around the shoulder is going to be a free in for Thoreau. Thoreau playing with the big wind here. This one could go over. It's a long way back up. You'll fancy it. Great strike. Just to the left and wide. Unlucky. Unlucky. It's hard to judge in this wind. The wind's going to take it. So we've Keen Coates now with the puck out for Beaumont boys. Great puck out. The Hearts are a fantastic catch. Oh, and lovely play there by Thoreau. Really, really strong shoulder. Some heavy hits coming in now with a fair, firm but fair. Some lovely ground hurling there. And it's left for number 10, Luca Mann. He's on the ball. He's doing a great run. Oh, what a strike by Luca, just to the right and wide. It's always going to be a very, very difficult angle. We saw that happen in the first game. Throws Camogie match there. Very tough there from that angle. The ball is quickly pucked, uh, pucked out by Keane, but it went straight to a, a throw man there. Beaumont regather it again and up they come up the field. Great puck in there. A lovely touch. Oh, brilliant defending there by the Claro fullback. Outstanding defending. Beaumont ran it again and they have a, a brilliant block down again. There is some brilliant defending going on by both teams today. Great puck in there by James into the full forward line. Oh, and he's through. Did, and a fantastic goal there, absolutely fantastic goal by Kean Duggan. He actually makes the goalkeeper with his feet and then stuck it into the back of the net. A sublime bit of footwork there by him. Absolutely brilliant goal. A goal poacher's goal. This game on here now again, goal in it. Centre forward on the ball, but it's a brilliant block down by Beaumont again. Both teams come streaming in to try and win the breaking ball. Bowman come out with the ball. Great block down though. Turf seems a little bit heavy. Early are getting stuck in it. Some great flicks though, hooking and blocking here by both teams. Oh, and a wild pull there. And a bit of afterwards there by the full forward from Bowman. Obviously, clearly not happy with that. Hard 
to work out the formation. You know, Bowman seems to be playing a two-three. It seems like they've put an extra man up to the full forward line. And it's going to be a line ball here now to Beaumont. Break and play here now for a second. Check the players. And Jamie Deneen comes back onto the field of his hurley. A heavy hit there. And the game is back on now, throwing into the field. Both teams fighting hard for Beaumont seem to have come away with it. He's fighting a massacre of bodies here. And the ref has given an award of a free two throw. We have seven minutes left in regulation time in this first half. We're going to look and dip this round the square again. They got great joy from the last ball that went in there. Dipping. And just to the right and wide. He had the legs. Just to the right and wide. Unlucky. And Keen Coates with the puck out now again. He's going to take his time on this one. Young man has a very good puck out. Against the wind. Very good, finds his man. But for all, seem to get it again. It's that wing back, Bobby O'Halloran seems to be on the ball an awful lot in this first half, Bobby. Great play. Ref has blown it up, he's going to give a throw ball. Put it in for the clash of the ash. And go a lovely flick away, but it's Thoreau who seems to have got on it. Ref has blown it up. Some tugging of the jersey. Seem to have a free in. Another free in, maybe possibly. James O'Sullivan might have found his radar here after that first one went wide. Just waiting for it now. Steady down. Looks like he's found it this time. Absolutely fantastic score. We're down now to a two point game. Great puck out there by Keane again. Battling hard in the middle of the field are both sets of teams. Throw seem to be getting the better at the breaking ball at the minute, but just as I say, that Bowman have the ball and they're coming up the field. Some, a great catch there by David Barry of Thoreau. Seems to have got a hard hit there now. Wild pull around the group. David Barry stood very proud and tall there. Great hit. Now we have the free again. Send it forward. James Sullivan looks like he's going to take it. Studying himself. Wind's cutting in, he looks like he's going to try and fade that over the bar. Just goes to the left and right, unlucky. And if that's too far away from you to don't get it, I deserve it. So the scoreboard is telling me it's 2-2 two, two to 1-2. In Bowman's favour, and we have four minutes remaining. And we have a free here now for Bowman. It's another great strike into the wind. And it's a superb score. Goalkeeper feared it might have hit the net there at one stage, but brilliant score. Great free. We've had some great after free taking there in this game so far. Great puck out straight down into the 21. Oh, and it's a fantastic catch there. Oh, and it's just 
cross gone to the right and wide. That was my initial lap. That was my initial viewpoint there. Cian Duggan absolutely turned the full back on a sixpence. Bear down and goal. Tried to take his point and it just went to the right and wide. And it's a good puck out there by Cian Coates looking to find his man. Onto the breaking ball. Come Beaumont again. Lovely little hurler, this fella. Great play up the field. And throw, get that safely out. It's a fantastic strike there by the Corona fielder. And Beaumont are taking a huge gamble there at the back. They're playing the ball out in front at the time. You love to see it, to be fair. They did get caught for one goal, though. It feels like they might get another, but... Beaumont with a chance, yeah. So the scores are 2-3 Beaumont, 1-2 Thoreau. And Thoreau with the opportunity. Oh, he went for a goal, audacious attempt. And they've gone for it, oh, and it's just gone wide. Wow. Did not see that coming, to be fair. Thought he was going to take his point and bring it to a one-score game. But he went for it, and they very nearly got the goal. Caught everyone out nearly, barred a... Beaumont fullback who stopped it superbly. Has he measured it? No, just to the left and wide. They may come to rue those misses, but to be fair, they are 65 yards out. Tough one. Tough one indeed. Missed by James O'Sullivan. Seems to be all over it today, though. Good puck up by Keen Coast. We're into the final minute of regulation time in this first half. Game has flown by. It's a great strike there by the Beaumont half forward. And a great ground hurling, and it seems to have broken here now to the full forward. Already has two goals to his name. Oh, and a challenge from behind. To be fair, he really had to do it because that full forward was bearing down the goal, and he was hat trick written all over it. He's taken it well to as well, in fairness. Some astute defending there. It's gone out now to a 21 yard free. He's going to take his point. And drills it straight over the bar. Fantastic score there. Scores now 2 4 to 1 2, and we're just approaching half time. Great puck out there again by Thoreau. Trying to ghost into the breaking ball. Beaumont are really attacking them. Thoreau have it again. Great flick down the field. Beaumont have it. And it's put straight up to the full forward line. Around the house. Bobby O'Halloran there with a great stick. Stick to it. And we have number eight. Jamie Deneen, the captain on the ball, he drops it. Can he regather it? Oh, he's been done for over carrying there. That was harsh. Time is up here now. The ref has played one minute of additional time. Say as soon as the next ball goes dead, he's hauled it for half time. It's been an enthralling first half here so far. Great puck there by the Beaumont player. Straight up into the forward line. Great catch again, but throw her up to the task. They win the breaking ball, they just need to get rid of it now. Bowman are fighting hard for it. Oh, and it's a good flick. Both teams are fighting hard back there. Throw really just need to make this ball go dead. Ref is blowing her up, and that might be that. He's trying it for a clash ball. Bowman. 
seems to be still a bit of time here left in it. Almost fighting through it. He hand passes it over. David Barry from Perot seems to be getting on it. Goes well to stop the initial, cuts out the initial pass. And the ref has blown it for half time. The half time score 2 4 to 1 2 in favour of Beaumont. Perot war playing with a stiff breeze there in the first half. This is an interesting encounter, all to play for here, folks. Welcome back to the second half here. There has been an adjustment to the score. I did think that uh, Thoreau should have had an extra point. So the scores now are 2 4 Beaumont, Thoreau 1 3. That's what I'm being led to believe, anyway. It seemed like it was officially called out over the intercom, but it hasn't been adjusted on the scoreboard yet. We shall see. Oh, and a goal flies in there for Beaumont. The wind is really picking up here, folks, and it got it a horrific bounce. And that's most unfortunate there for the goalkeeper, Dara Crowley. There was nothing he could have done about that there. That was just a really wicked bounce off the ground. Great puck out there. So the score is now 3-4. And I still think it's 1-3 to be announced yet. Pro battling hard for it here now. And they're up in the full forward line. But Beaumont get it out to the left-hand side. And it's gone for a line ball to Thoreau. Thoreau playing from right to left in the second half wearing all red and Beaumont under the banner of the Rockies colours playing from left to right. One minute gone here in the second half and Beaumont have had a fast start, a goal straight in. But what a sideline cut there. What a sideline cut by Thoreau but just limps out over to the right hand side and out. The puck out here now, Keane Coates on the puck out again. So go a little bit longer for him and Beaumont again judged the break very well and a great one-handed pick and a fantastic ground hurling there again, just moving it on, super to see. And we have the full back for Thoreau here trying to get it out, Adam O'Mahony, he's vice captain, David Barry on the pit on the ball here now. Strikes it straight up and Ben Lynch gets it away. It looks like it's gonna be a is it a free in or a line ball? It seems like it's gonna be a line ball here for Beaumont. Unlucky, can't play it again. He looks to block it on fairness to him. Great play there, and the ball has gone in. Will it be kept in on? It just creeps to the right and wide. No. Don't know. Great puck out by Keen again. Straight into the heart. And Beaumont come onto the ball and they get a foot forward. But throw clear it. Looks like we have a bit of a siege defence here by Throne Fairness. They're standing tall, they're fighting for every ball. And Beaumont throws straight back into the full forward line. And they're going for it and it's been picked up here. Oh, and he just missed picks it, but he tries to get it on. It's the full forward onto it again. Will he get his hat trick? Great block down, great save by the keeper. And it's Ben Lynch coming out with the ball here now for throw. He is really flying. Skips past one, turns back inside off his weak hand, gets it up. Bowman come on to the ball. And he looks like he picked a great point, but it's just gone to the left and wide. And the scoreboard has been adjusted, folks. It's 3-4 Bowman, throw 1-3. There's seven points in it. Great puck out there by Thoreau. Adam O'Mahony. And Thoreau get out in front again. Beaumont are really flying now at the minute and it looks like it was a chop down. It's going to be a free in. Just chop down there on number 11, Connor Stack. And Beaumont seems like it went straight over the bar. Hard spell on these goals. Great point. Point is given and the scores are 3-5 to 1-3. Five minutes gone here in the second half. Enthralling encounter so far, guys. Standard of hurling has been very, very impressive. It's 
James Dean, who seems to be coming all the way back today to fuck up. Jamie's on it now. Great, great fuck up. It was a throw man there. Tom Wilde's fighting hard for it, but Bowman won't get to it first. And Jamie Deneen looks like he's going to take this sideline cut here now for Thoreau. Had a massive one there over the right-hand side. Ref is pointing him forward. We are in very blustery, wet conditions here now today. Oh, and he's missed it. We've had a, we've had a number of those here today. Very unusual. Very unusual. We have a couple of people there funking the sideline balls there. I probably gave him the commentators first. That's a crack man here and he's taking his time. He's lined the ball up. Oh, and he's funked it over the sideline too, unfortunately. It's tough going. We've James O'Sullivan out the sideline. He takes a really quick. Moreno just got onto the ball there and he's still on it again. He's a big unit from Spain. Great to see. And here is James O'Sullivan on the ball. He's been tugged back, free in. And a chance for Clough to reduce the deficit. It's going to be James himself to take his, his free. He's going to line it up with a number of opportunities in the first half. Will he do better against the wind? He's really got no over it. That's a great strike from James O'Sullivan there. And he's reduced the deficit now from 3-5 to 1-4. He's brought it back to a seven-point game. Great puck out by Beaumont. It's gone right into the full forward line. And they're through again. It's that full forward on the ball again. And he's got his hat trick. He has got the hat trick, Ronan O'Connell. Absolutely fantastic score there. Outstanding. Trick here today for Beaumont, and the score is now 4 5 to 1 4. Throw have an awful lot of catching up to do here if they want to get their hands on the trophy, but it's a fantastic puck out, and they start here. Throw and Beaumont shimmying on the ball there now. Ref's going to give it another minute, minute to see if they can get the ball out. Chop down, ref lets it go. He had his hand on his whistle, thought of it, and finally the free is awarded to Beaumont. Beaumont with the wind will look to throw this straight over the bar. You can see the wind really affecting the flag sticks here. Dead down towards the uh, black rock end of, of the house here. It's a great score by Beaumont. We have had an absolute exhibition of free taking here today by both teams. Ben Lynch now to take the puck out here. Barkler up. And a great puck out that it is against the wind. A bit of hassling here, and it looks like we have a free here. Far throw. Nice free one there by the fullback Adam O'Mani. He is vice captain of Claro today. Just again, run through the panel in full. The subs today for Claro are Jack Murphy, Dylan Monahar O'Sullivan, Shane Ganey, Berkey Gins, and Jamie O'Mani. Just as the ball is played in there for Claro, it's won and battered away by Bowman, but Claro look to have gotten the ball again. And they've kicked it out. And throw back on the attack. Oh, and he loses his hurley in the tackle. Beaumont get it out with a fantastic hook again. And a great shoulder to shoulder battle there by both teams. And it's been a chop down, so we'll have a free in for James O'Sullivan. And the Beaumont subs, there is a lot of them there. We have Callum Hanna, Daniel Reardon, Josh Cleary, Joe Brown, Jay Collins, Dylan Waters, Brian O'Callaghan, Ben Hogan. A fantastic score there by James O'Sullivan. Absolutely exhibition in free taking today. Back to the Bowman sub, Jaden O'Callaghan, Peter White, Daniel Cronin, Dylan Murray, Liam Byrne and Oscar O. Lynchig. And there was two people from the Bowman team who couldn't make the panel today. They were sick. So I hope that they have a speedy recovery and the rain is really starting to bucket down here now, folks. With two subs readying themselves to be made here by Beaumont boys. The score at 4-6 to 1-5. Beaumont coming away with the ball again. 
He loses his footing. Beaumont ran the attack again. Some fantastic runs being made here by both teams. And Beaumont get the score, and the score is 4 7 to 1 5. Beaumont making two substitutions. Hard to make out the numbers on the backs of their jersey. Joe, Joe Brown, of course, part of this Beaumont boys team. His uncles, Alan and John, of course, will be beaming with pride. And the Beaumont boys coming off the pitch there after a great display of hurling by both of them. And coming off was 13, Darrow Flaherty, and uh, 17, Daniel Reardon. So Beaumont boys didn't play to numbers as lined out in the programme. And we have a goal mount action shot here now for Crow. Ball broke and it was dropped inside the full back line just as Beaumont looked to clear, but they've regathered it here now. And they win the free out. That was a crabbit free there, won by the full back line of Beaumont. Really put himself into the challenge, made sure he got the free, and the goalkeeper, Keen Kosalek, is going to take it, but he's reneged. And Alex Jacob McAvoy, the full back for Black Rock, he's kind of shouting there saying, What will we do? And Keen has decided, No, yeah, I'm going to take it. So up he steps. You better take it handy though, because the man in front of him has no plug it on. Kian smacks the ball out, but it's one two probably by James O'Sullivan again in the middle of the field. Breaks nicely for him, and now there's a tussle on the ground for it. Some great flicking and blocking, moving here by the lads on both teams. And the ref has called it, he's going to put it in for a clash ball. Rain is starting to really pelt down here, folks. I'm not going to lie, I'm cold. Some fantastic play by Beaumont there again. Oh, and he really tried to fiddle around. But on this occasion, Bobby Halloran is just too cute for him. Great puck again there by Beaumont, but it looks like it's going to go to the right of mine unless he can keep it in. He does. Oh, and his handling lets him down at the last minute. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate for Ronan O'Connell. The rain is starting to pelt down here, folks. And really impinge this final. I must comment on the surface again, though. It is immaculate. Hard to believe that we had the whole edge here and for all here because it looks superb. I know since then we've had Cork and Loud played. And we just had a puck there by the Beaumont full forward line, and it's gone to the right hand side of the post and wide across the goal. Really tried to draw that ball over the, ball, over the bar. We've got Puck out here now again, looks like Ben Lynch coming back from centre back. Ben and Adam look to swap positions. Ben is taking this puck out, and it is a great puck out against the wind. Brilliant, and James Leary gets some great height, and Anna flicks it forward and throw, gather it again. And it looks like we've had a push, and James now will have another opportunity to bring it back to a seven point game. The scores at the minute 4 7 to 1 5. Oh, and a great block. He went for goal there again, did he? What a shot, in fairness, but... Beaumont stopped it superbly. He's 11 points in it now at the minute. Less than seven minutes to go. Of course, the ref will add injury time. He was generous in the first half of injury time. You suspect that'll be the same here. And Beaumont really tried their best to get it away, and they do on this occasion. The ball is lined up the field and we have two Beaumont players harrying after it. And they get it in a fantastic ball up to the field. And here's one of the subs on the ball. A great pick up there by himself. And he's cascading through the, through the defence. Great ball across the square. Keeper was left for dead there. But they gather it back and Ben Lynch has it in the full back line. He's bursting out with it. And in fairness to him, he's defended admirably there now on that occasion. And Bobby O'Halloran is looking to fight for it hard here now for Clarot. James O'Sullivan comes back and gets the ball, but he gets dispossessed. It's back up here now, Bobby O'Halloran has it. It looks like he's just come over the sideline. Hard to see without the line being marked. But the linesmen are doing a fantastic job here today. And this quick puck out was, was taken there. Very cleverly by Jack Punch on captain. Oh, brilliant. We could spell trouble here. Great flick away by the goalkeeper. 
Dara Crowley for Claro. Claro coming onto the ball here now. And they've won it and he's away. He's bursting down the field, turns into the tackle, beats one, beats two, and gets the ball away up the field. Great work. Has it stayed in play? It hasn't. It's going to go for a line ball to Beaumont. Beaumont readying themselves with another substitution again. It looks like number 18, Josh Cleary, although I could be wrong here now. It's hard to make out the Beaumont boys numbers on the back of their jersey. Play has just steady down now, still 11 points in it, 4-7 to 1-5. Four and a half minutes left of regulation time. And throw come onto the ball nice and neatly now, but they get dispossessed. And Beaumont seem to have won it again, and they're on the attack. Great hand pass out, but fantastic interception there by Bobby Halloran. And he threw it up twice before he caught it. Looks like it's going to be a free out now for Claro. Adam Amani thinks better of he's going to leave it for Ben Lynch, who has done some admirable puckouts against the wind here today. Then sinks it into orbit. Comes down and it's gone into the forward line again. It's smashed down the field. Bit of kicking of the ball here now going on. And James Sullivan is on the ball. He looks like he's going for it. He goes for goal again, but it's fantastically backed down by Beaumont. One of the bump boys looks like he was injured in that play. Put his body on the line for that ball in the Skeena Skull title. Bone boys will be absolutely delighted with their performance so far, as will the Claro management and teams. Claro look like they're going to make some substitutions of their own, readying themselves there as number 18, Shane Ganey. And it seems like number 21. Oh, 21, do you know who that is? I see it there now momentarily. Two people have their helmets on. So it's number 20, Jamie O'Mahony. So Shane Ganey and Jamie O'Mahony look like they're ready themselves to come on. That ball has gone unfortunately wide there for, for Claro. And we're on 40 down to the last three minutes now. Scoreline of 4-7 to 1-5. So 11 points still in it. Jamie O'Sullivan misses the call of Adam O'Mahony. He blocks it straight into the pad of a Beaumont boys player. James, James has been really impressive today. Bobby O'Halloran still fighting really hard. Very, very neat, tidy hurler, Bobby O'Halloran. And James Sullivan really trying to impact proceedings here now today. And Cian Duggan with that first half goal, Megzing, Megzing the goalkeeper and everything. Some great play. But the ref has decided it's going to be a clash to the ash here. And we've number eight. And the captain, James Deneen, gets a great great flick onto the ball and here's Keane trying to battle hard with Beaumont Beaumont seem that they, they're up to proceeding his own throw have made their substitutions and 17 Dylan Manor Sullivan is into the fray as well oh that looks very very nasty I know it's hard in this weather but that was you don't like to see that now in, the, in these games it was a wild thing hopefully the young fella's okay Referee's giving him a stern talking to. Job done, we move on. These things happen. But this is really playing into the hand of Beaumont boys. It's eating the clock down. And we're left with a minute and a half regulation time left. They're going to take all their time over this free. And here's Bono looking to make some final changes. They've emptied their bench. Thoreau have done theirs already. We'd love to see this in the Skeena Skull final, folks.
great fee by Beaumont as the rain comes buckling down and that's a point it's gone to a 12 point game now for 4 8 to 1 5 Time is officially up now, the ref is going to add on a minute or two probably as Beaumont win it again. Some deft hurling there, what a pass there by the Beaumont young fella. Put it straight into the pass and that's gone to the left and wide. Crow should be really proud of making the final today, they fought heroically but it seems to be just Beaumont's day. Fantastic display of hurling by both teams but Beaumont just had the better of Crow today and these things happen in sports Crow will dust themselves off and they'll get going again these players will go back to their clubs and they'll continue fighting hard but well done what about the performance in Beaumont today sensational stuff and Crow still on the ball a very good turn there by the Crow man he gets it Beaumont win it back And Thoreau gather the ball again in the middle of the field and they hand pass it across and now it looks like it's James O'Sullivan on the ball again. He gets a great pass up the field. And then she gets a great shot off his left hand side but it looks like it's just going to drift. Full back looks like he was trying to leave it out. What a hook there by Thoreau. Fantastic play. The ball is going up and it's pucked away and that's the game over folks. And well done to Bono boys, hard luck to Thoreau. The scoreline finishes 4 8 to 1 5.
Oh, right. 